guys, it's Dylan's Legos here, and this is, uh, this is my overview of Destiny Year 2 reveal. I'm gonna go through everything that they had to offer in this video. Everything. And, uh, I'll try, <laughs> I'm gonna try to get everything. This is gonna be a, uh, quite a long video, but, uh, we'll see how it ends up. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> I answer a lot of questions. Alright, here we go. ...is going to become more powerful in the Taken King. So, imagine, if you will, that it is September 15th, uh, high noon, you've taken the day off from work, you're keeping the company of two friends of yours, uh, I have two theoretical guides here that are level 40. Uh, they have become an even greater legend in the Taken King, and they're going to Sherpa me through this walking tour of the social space overlooking the last safe. Now, right here, you'll notice that e <laughs> Eris is not there anymore. She is going to be moved into a different location in the tower. City on Earth, and we're going to understand how my dead orbit warlock here is going to become even more powerful as my new adventure progresses. So. And of course, right here, you can see all their awesome new faction gear. That looks amazing. It's just, it's so much better than Expansion 1, two, 1 and 2. It's just, it looks so much better. I guess the best way to do that would be to inspect this character, yes? Let's look at your character. All right, so, the new character screen, everyone. So, the big... All right, so right here, of course, you'll notice the new ghost. And you'll notice a whole bunch of stuff. Right here, you see you see that the light level is 186. We'll touch on that later. And the ghost, and they have perks. We'll touch on that later. Let's continue. The biggest change that we're making right away in Taken King is your light level is being brought in and grandfathered in as your character level. Okay. So, so your light level will add up to an average. So if all my stuff is 190, I have all my, if everything at, is at 190 attack, 190 defense, my average of light will be 190. But the ghost is bringing that down because it's at 170. So that brings down my average. So you want everything to be the same level. So obviously they're going to have like some kind of cap like they do now with three, three, uh, three, 335 for our attack and defense um, our armor is like all over the place. So they're fixing that too. Your level 34 on the left side there yep. is now your character level. I mean, this is what you earn by increasing XP. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a level 34 or a level 32 or a level 30, yep. any character from year one, when you first log in to 2.0, yeah. we'll grandfather your character in, and we'll basically just boost you up to the level that you always have been all through the last uh, last year. So how are you calculating? So, so what that so what that so what that guy just said. This means that so basically to so don't delete any of your legendary. That's what they're talking about so don't delete any of your legendaries so yeah that's what that's the total of light you'll be able to receive and if you uh so basically if you are 34 when the king king comes out you will be 34 you will be so don't delete any of your gear or anything this will also determine your light this level four, this level 34 character. We're going to take a look at the gear that's on all your characters okay. in your vault, like just all over the place, and we'll figure out where your best character would be. And what's funny about that is that you saw you had rare gear, which that it's they mentioned something ago, like like your vault of glass gear. They're going to have common gear that is better than your vault of glass gear in attack. Doesn't mean that it has better perks. Uh, obviously, the perks on common gear is like basically nothing, but uh, still, it's gonna have more attack, and you want to use it. 
So okay. you don't have to worry about anything like you know logging in the night before and mm -hmm. equipping the right stuff so that you actually are level 34 when you start taking king. Everything in my inventory, everything in my vault, Yep. put it together into a big mathematical atom smasher. Yep. We determine your level. Pro tip for you at home, don't dismantle a thing before this game comes out because yeah. we're going to take stock of what you have and we're going to determine what level your character is. Please, again, please don't delete any. So how does this go up? So this is simple experience. I mean, you can play patrols, you can do strikes, you can play crucible. Like yeah. anything that's earning you XP is going to bring your level up. So this is this is just like reaching level twenty was mm -hmm. in year one. And you know, in Taken King, the level cap increases to forty, so you'll be able to level up, get access to new gear, new equipment, yeah. and pretty pretty simple. The key here is that this is. I like this a lot. I always like that that just like just the level up experience because I always miss that when I was low like when I was trying to get light gear, I was like I always missed having to like have that experience of just going out doing whatever you want and leveling up instead of doing a certain thing and fight for that and then put it on and you have to wear it. But ascending tried to fix that and uh, it was basically a giant band-aid ascending was <laughs> for for those people that were mad in expansion one with the exotics, which was terrible. But basically this is I like this better. It's just it's just better for me. And it's better overall. And if you're thirty four, it's not gonna take you that long up to forty, honestly. And if you have a lot of red bull codes, you can get up there very easily. So I wouldn't be very mad about this. Some of you guys are like, I like light or something. But this, I feel like this is so much better and so much easier to do than doing, let me do Crota 500 times to get one piece of gear. It's so much better. Anyone who plays the game just by playing and killing monsters, finishing activities, can hit the max level now. Yeah, yeah okay. So on the right side, we have your light. Yes. So in year one, this was sort of buried on certain pieces of armor, and you never really saw this stat, but it was like the most important thing for you know getting into the deeper end game. So now this is visible on your top level character screen. Mm -hmm. It's actually just a product of all your gear now, instead of being a single stat on like just a couple pieces of armor. Mm -hmm. So if you look at a helmet, for example. Also, just to point out, so your grimoire won't be in your name tag anymore. It will be replaced with your light, which is actually, <laughs> which is more important now than ever. Because light used to determine your level, now it doesn't. Your level determines how much experience you had in Destiny. How much experience you get. Cap is 40. I don't know, the, <laughs> nobody knows, I don't think nobody knows the cap for uh, the light level. But anyway, it's going to, it's, I don't know how far it's going to be. It'll be good to figure out. Example, sure. you see you've got 190 defense, yeah. and defense and attack, they both just combine together. It's kind of an average and okay. shows up on your character. So as my light level. level is an average of my attack and defense on my entire character. That's right. So, so all of these 190 items, the yeah. average would be 190. So what's bringing me down right now to uh, 186? You might have a bad item equipped on one of your slots or something like that. The ghost. Uh, now let's take a look at this ghost for a second. Ghosts have perks. They have intellect. They have strength. They have discipline, and, and it's really cool. They also provide to your light level, and there's di there's a whole bunch of different kinds of ghosts. And this one's called the Verdant Shell, and it's a rare one. So what I've been seeing so far is that rare ghosts have only like one perk and a small little bit of change and like in strength, that's what I've been noticing so far. This ghost has detects and marks nearby spirit board. This is probably like a story mission ghost or something you probably get later. Because I'm assuming when you do a story mission, they're going to give you ghost in one part. I'm assuming that. I don't know for that for sure. But I'm pretty sure they're going to give you a new ghost in one of the new story missions just to be like, here you go. But we're also going to have those VIP rewards. That give us that awesome legendary ghost, which we're all gonna use. Yeah, for ghosts looking to brighten Guardian's day.
See, yeah, you've just got a ghost shell, which is a bit lower level. And ghosts have light now. Yep, ghosts have light now. Um, your class slot has light now. These are all contributing towards making your character stronger. So nothing is useless anymore. Like even your even your freaking warlock bond or titan mark or clo hunter cloak has freaking defense in it, which is awesome. And if you're getting like the collector's edition, you'll get the exotic uh, emblems. I mean, exotic uh, bonds and stuff like that will boost your XP, and it's it's gonna be. I can't I can't wait for it. It's it's just everything that you do now contributes to you. So nothing is trash anymore. Nothing is for show. Ghost used to be for show. You're sh you're. I'm not gonna say ship, but your your emblems is for show. And it's it's just it's so much better than before. This is like this is a better destiny. See what I did there? <laughs> so there's you know there's more there's more to pursue. There's you're not just doing a raid for mm -hmm. like one of four slots that actually matter. Yeah. Everything matters now. Everything's helpful for your character. Everything you do progresses you. Everything that you do contributes to a higher level. If I'm a guy who, and I am, filthy casuals of the world unite, if I'm a guy who likes to go out of patrol while I enjoy the company of some friends, if I like to go into the crucible and fail miserably with people who are better at the game than mm -hmm. myself, I will reach that level cap. Yeah, you will reach level 40, absolutely. You always tell an interesting story about what was it, the meme of... Uh... So... Everybody will soon reach level 40. It's not like you suck level 31, you need that gear, you didn't do it yet. Not like that anymore. Everybody will be level 40. But what matters now is your light level. Not your level level. <laughs> your light level. And so, so even though you're all level 40, y'all can do the same thing. Doesn't mean y'all have the same gear, which makes everybody different, which is good. Forever 29? Yeah, like last year, you know, it, this happened to a lot of people where when light level was the thing that you chased, it wasn't in your control, right? Like you had to get the, the boots, was it, in the raid to, sure, to yeah. level 30? And the difference between level 30 and level 29 was pretty substantial. And yeah. Now, like, light is a three-digit number, and, and, you know, nine or ten different items can contribute to it. Mm -hmm. and, and, like, what, why is that number so important? So, for example, in this case, in year one, going from 29 to 30, I mean, that was something like a 30% swing in how much damage you didn't took. It was yeah. a big, big difference. Uh, the light is more granular now, so mm -hmm. you can make a little bit of progress. You know, uh, you like to say, it's nice to go on and bump things up by one step. Like, you don't have to wait several weeks for a drop that is not yeah. happening yeah. for you when, so it's to, like, more make logical. progress. There's a more logical path between me and my next leveling up. So yep. as I level up more, as I reach higher levels of, you know, orders of magnitude, what does that do for me? I remember being 29 forever. It took me forever to get level 30. Like, I don't even think I was level 30 like, I had, when I was level 30, I think I had to play Dark Below to get to level 30. Because I kept doing Vlog Less, kept doing the Vlog Less, and it just got nothing, 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 nothing happened to me. Nothing. Like, I didn't get any gear I needed. It sucked. So this is a much better way to fix that. So once you hit level 40, you're capped, mm -hmm. but that's what's going to give you access to some of the better gear that's available. You have a few pieces of this in your inventory right now, so like, yeah. here's a level 40 item that, you know, is 280 defense, so sure. when you get to level 40 and you're able to equip that, yeah. you're going to see a nice big bump in your light level. Right. So for you at home, uh, that is equipped for demonstration purposes only. You're not going to walk into the tower on your first day yeah. with endgame gear. Uh, these legendaries are things that you'll acquire in playing the Taken King content, but it won't be available to you until you level up to level 40. Uh, here's something else I want to ask, because it looks like you're doing some... some Boom. All right. So this is really cool. <laughs> so uh, let, let's wait till he goes to discipline. Some different things here. We still have intellect. 
and compare. discipline and strength. I mean strength. Okay. So this will tell you how much time you have until your strength, discipline, or intellect has to cool down. So you can go in here and check how long it is until. And this actually gives you a timer instead of just saying, uh, you get 100%. We don't know when, if it even does anything. <laughs> so this is so much better. You get a timer. You get to know exactly when you'll get your super strength and discipline back, which is amazing. And I'm glad they're doing this. It's so much better. And you just get this by equipping gear, like the same way you've always been. It's just fixed to <laughs> fixed to let you know how to do it and it gives you it just gives you a better understanding I think and it's just it's very cool yeah so strength for example uh, because your melee ability is unlocked on this test character yeah. It's showing you what your actual cooldown for that ability is going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, discipline and intellect, test character, not unlocked yet. Yeah. But all these will show you how many seconds like your cooldown it actually is, mm -hmm. instead of just being sort of a, a weird percentage number that you yeah. really just kind of had to guess. This has made me really value gear a lot more. Like it, you know, in the in Destiny One in the live game right now, um, I. I see discipline, I see intellect, I see strength, and it says, yeah, it's going to speed this thing up, but I never know how much, so like, yep. I kind of just d don't care about it. But now I can see, hey, I just equipped this item, and I went from 55 seconds to 48. Yep. And I'm like, well, I'm, you know, I, I love the Stormcaller, and his new super is incredible, and so I'm going to maximize intelligence. Like I'm looking for gear that has intelligence so I can cast my super as fast as possible, as yep. frequently as possible. Yep. Cool. All right, so what else is new on this screen? I see... Uh the quest tab. Yeah. So let's go, let's head over there. So first, let's look at the right hand side of the screen where we got bounties. Okay. So the first. All right. Let's talk about this. You can have thirty two freaking quests. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. And you have six. They added six more uh, bounties to your bounty slot, which is very cool. And uh, here you can take a look at some of the uh, new quests you'll be doing. thing you'll notice is we now have 16 bounty slots so that's six more slots than existed before mm -hmm. the other thing I'd say about bounties is there's a whole bunch of new ones like we've updated PvP bounties and PvE bounties with a whole suite of, mm -hmm. uh, of new things to do out in the world all the Vanguard and Crucible bounties are updated they're a bit quicker to do and they're all designed to be done while you're doing what you actually want to do so there's fewer bounties which are go to this specific place and do this specific thing, and there's more which are like get solar weapon kills, which you're gonna be doing mm -hmm. while you're playing Crucible. Which I like. This is this is very good because I hate doing like go to this mission, do it on heroic, complete it, come back, turn it in, do this strike, play it, come back, turn it in, play this mission, heroic. Come back, turn in. It sucks. I hate it. It sucks. You're going to be doing while you're like doing patrols. You'll be doing while you're doing a strike. You can also track the bounties now, which you can see. So you know if you track a couple there, and okay. just maybe track two. So I'm tracking these two. Yeah, and if you head back to the, you, you know, can track the, a total of four. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to track a crucible one, two. Yeah, and I think that's your total because we have one quest tracked as well. So if you go back to the yeah. the ghost, you know, you go to the main screen. Um, you know, pull up your ghost here for a second. You can see the progress towards your bounty. This, <laughs> this is awesome. This is this is very cool. You can now see what you need to do and how much is left to set. Going all the way back to your menu, going all the way to the quest, looking at your stuff. This is much better and much quicker to look and figure out what you want to do and what you need to do right now. And it's just more convenient.
right here in the HUD, which is awesome. No like switching into your inventory screen and tabbing over and then looking at them individually. Like it's right there, okay. the ones you want to see all the time, which is which is just it's, it's awesome, right? Ready access. And, cool. and, okay. and, and you know, the quality of life there is great. And then if you go back to the quest screen and look at bounties, you'll see two of these bounties have already been completed. One okay. of the key changes we've made here is you can now turn in your bounties from anywhere you are. Yep. So you don't have to go to the tower to turn them. When you saw D just hit that X button, you're like, yes, yes, this is what I wanted, this is what you need, this is, this is great. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's freaking seamless, but you do, you do have to go back to the tower to, to collect bounties, I think. I'm pretty sure you do have to go to the tower to get your bounties back. But it's cool that you can complete them on the fly and receive your rewards right then and there. And it's just very seamless, so much better. Nice. And immediately you get your reputation and your experience right then and there. Vanguard yep. rep. Looking yeah. good. So the left hand side of the screen here is the quest the Quest bounties. Woo! And these are just quests that you're your uh, everybody just gives you. I, f I don't think what I was thinking about the faction quests, which he'll talk about later with the uh, faction quests. I think that they'll just keep giving you quests. Like, I think that the story, the story will end, but you'll keep getting quests, which is cool. I think that's what they're doing. Page. And so we've talked a lot about how quests are going to play a super important role in the Taken King this year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is the place where you're going to go see what are the quests that I have on offer. And you can, you know, there's going to be dozens of quests. And, it, you know, you, it can actually hold up to 32. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of quests in the game for you to, to take. And you can see on this page right here, you have some quests that are from the Vanguard. Some are about your class. Yeah. You get some from the factions. Um, there, are, there are, There's, of course, quests related to the, the core story. And for each one of these, you get to see, um, you know, uh, it tells you. This is by, you do this bounty by completing, complete the strike. Strike, strike. This is talking about the new strike. So I'd read this real quick. And this is talking about that they're going to be releasing like four or five new strikes. So this is one of the strikes. And the other strike is they'll be broadcasting on next Wednesday is the Court of Orcs. We'll be watching that. And this is just the new strike. And this is where you just uh, stop Cabal Assault Team from. Detonating the Dreadnought's core. You just want to keep the peace, <laughs> you know? Exactly what you need to do next. Even on Oryx's ship. To, to complete it, but also shows like you what... the strike that we're going to play next week. Yes, exactly, Shield Brothers. But also shows you what the rewards are. Boom. Look at that. Rewards. Look at the rewards on that. Get Stormcaller. Armor upgrade. <laughs> and it's a mission. I can't wait to get my fucking sunbreak. I'm a titan wheeling that hammer. Oh my god. Can't wait. So this quest here, this quest up is Spark in the Shadow. If you complete this, you can see that you're going to get the new Stormcaller subclass. Mm -hmm. So the new subclass in the Taken King is something that you're going to earn as part of a quest line. And so it's a warlock exclusive quest. Correct. No yeah. hunters invited. Exactly. And, and uh, so part of your daily ritual when you log in to play Destiny, now you're going to check out what the daily is. You're going to look at your bounties. But now you're also going to look at your quest page and see, mm -hmm. hey, you know, what progress could I make tonight? You know, which of these things is just on the cusp of giving me something awesome? And a lot of these quests, they advertise what you're going to get for them. And we're trying to move more of the rewards that you may have had to go and shoot yeah. into a loot cave for in <laughs> year one into loot cave actual quests. So okay. this quest, for example, is we'll get a heavy weapon upgrade for doing that. So, you And know, that's a heavy weapon, or that is an upgrade to an existing heavy that's, weapon? That is a new heavy weapon, which will probably be stronger than what you're using. So I complete this quest, I'm guaranteed a weapon. It's a guaranteed virtue from the standpoint of that's getting right. new stuff in my arsenal. Now that's yep. awesome. Yep. So when it says by heavy, a weapon upgrade. So like, so like this is where I think with the rewards, like you'll get heavy weapon, then you get a heavy weapon upgrade. 
which I think is like so. Imagine I have equipped it a. Imagine I have equipped it a, one eighty, attack, uh, rocket launcher. And so it's gonna say heavy weapon upgrade that because that means that it's gonna give me like something that's like one ninety or two hundred instead of a one sixty or eighty, which is uh, much better. And it you know what you're getting out of it. You know what you're getting is gonna be better. You don't know exactly what you're getting. You know it's a heavy weapon. You don't know which heavy weapon, but you know whatever it is, it's gonna be better than what you already have. That's taking a lot of the guesswork out of how I get stuff that I want to add to we my want, inventory. We want it to be more, more deterministic, more, more driven by player action and player intention, yeah. and not so much just by you know, pure randomness. So if I go do this thing, I get this other specific thing, and this is where people should look to their quests page, they should acquire quests, these are the breadcrumb trails that lead to your guardian becoming more powerful. Yep. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. Looking good. What else do we want to say about this? Anything? Let's move on. Cool. All right. Um, Why don't we check out your inventory? Okay. There's something special in there. So we're adding a new item in the Taken King. The Spark uh, of Light. Called a Spark of Light. Okay. Uh, every character who, <coughs> sorry, every person who buys a copy of the Taken King will have one of these given to them. Yeah. And what this item is for is you can take a character, maybe a low-level character that you didn't complete, or a new alt that you're interested in trying, one of the new subclasses, and you can boost that character up to level 25. It outfits that character with a set of appropriate gear, and it really is just getting you ready so that you can go in and start playing the new Taken King content. So I'm a brand new character. I've never played Destiny before. I go out and I get the Taken King. Mm -hmm. uh, I use this. Uh, where am I going to find this? Uh, this will be waiting for you on your Postmaster. Okay, so, so I create a character, I take it on that first mission, Yep. I learn how to aim down sight and shoot, and I get the basic tutorial. Gotta, gotta get to the tower first. Yeah, eyes up guardian and all that stuff. Earn uh, your grenade. <laughs> earn your grenade, yeah. meet meet the, uh, meet the, what are we calling it? Are we calling it the, uh, the North Ghost, the Nolan Droid, whatever we want to nickname uh, the successor. Um, so we go through that first uh, story mission. I arrive at the tower, this is at the Postmaster, but yep. I am not, personally, a new player of Destiny, obviously. If, uh, if that solar titan looks pretty cool, and, and it, it does, does. <laughs> and I want to get my hand on that hammer of soul, and I do, uh, for all you titans out there, I'm about to break ranks, and I'm about to join yours and share some time between my warlock and my titan. I can create a new titan, and applying this to my new character, I become a level 25 character. Yeah, it gets you up and running. Okay, so the starting line for the Taken King is level 25. Yep. And this gets us there. So, let's talk about this. So, you'll be level 1, basically, after you finish the first mission, of course, because everybody gets that grenade. But, you earned XP for doing that. Your level will be 25, but I think that your striker, if you were playing as a titan, your striker and defense class won't be upgraded, because... It has to be earned through XP. This only gets you a light level, well, level 25. So, you're still, a new, basically, you still have to earn XP to level up your crap. Like your defender and striker class. But it's, you're 25, you instantly boost up to level 25. It's not that instantly boost you up with like unlimited XP for like a day or something to get like your your defender class, the striker class is like l already leveled up by the time you get the game. You're going to still have crappy gear on. Like when you, when you get into the tower and put this on, you're still going to have bad gear. You still got to level up factions. You still got to level up all that stuff. You'll just be at level 25. You're basically level 1, but not. You have access to more stuff. So, think about it like that. You, you're you going to be 25, but you're not being able to level up stuff instantly. And if you've got friends you know, that want to play the Taken King, and they want to get into Destiny and haven't, like they can join in on September 15th and play with you right yeah. away. right? And they can... And hold on. Who doesn't want anybody else want 
999,999 weapon parts. Anybody else want that? I love to have that many weapon parts. <laughs> oh, God. I almost have max exotic, exotic shards, though. That's pretty cool. Still experience the first year of Destiny and House of Wolves and Dark Below. It's there for them if they buy the Legendary Edition. And it's all questified now. Yeah, but this yep. gives them the option to choose to play with you right away. Okay. Anything else we want to cover in my character inventory screens here? Nope. What about the fact that uh, I can finally see the face of this handsome devil in my inspections? And that's, that's one of the things. That's one of the little things I wanted to see my face in my I can turn it off and on whenever I want. If you really hate your face and you're a drag queen destiny, <laughs> you can you can turn that off. But this is this is just a little small thing I really liked, and it's just it's just it is cosmetic looks. But sometimes you just want to look at what your character looks like stuff, even though there's not a lot of options to choose from with cosmetics. But you know whatever. Screen. Yes. So. We think it's really important for the characters to be characters. Like, this is yeah. you. This is your person inside of Destiny. So, yeah. you know, we're showing the character faces uh, inside inside the UI screens. We're also letting some people do the opposite, where, like, I'm wearing my helmet here in the tower because I might have a cool raid helmet that I really like the look of. Mm -hmm. Or I might regret the decisions I made back in September <laughs> when, I, when I picked my particular hairstyle. So. I, I, I look like He-Man straight yeah. up. Now, I, th I don't know what that circle button means, but I'm pretty sure that's like inspect character or something. But I don't, they might, I don't know exactly what that means. But uh, I, I am Prince Adam, and I thought <laughs> yeah. that was cool. Yeah. And uh, it was circle button meaning next to their name. It was cool for a few weeks, and now it's not so cool anymore. Yes. Okay. So a few what else can I do? Seven. Yeah. <laughs> well, what else can I do to uh, customize my appearance in the tower? Anything else? Well, uh, try switching your weapon. So the same way I would do just in playing? That's right. I'll check out my shot. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Just press triangle in the tower, you switch your weapon, you get to, see, to make people look at your new exotic you just got and be like, screw you guys, I got this, you know? You know? It's just, like, I want, I want to see my back. So you can pick the weapon that you're going to show off in the tower. So if you've got that that cool sniper rifle, or you know you've got that cool heavy weapon, you can pick that and you can show that off now. So nice. it's just a little thing. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, so um, throughout the course of the show, we're going to be uh, checking in with our audience. How you doing, Cosmo? Doing great. So um, in looking at our audience, um, what questions would they ask us right now? Uh, I got a question. Still, she's not there. They'll probably add her because this is still they're still in the works. Oh, add her later. Uh, was it Icora? Yeah, Icora is not there. No, no, it's not Icora. It's Tess. Tess is not there. Tess, well, Icora is the one. Yeah, Tess is not there still, but we'll see uh, a little bit later what she'll be doing. From Fear Lies, yeah, but not in this live stream. Ask: Are there any going to be any new additions to Vault Space? Vault Space. Um. We're going to check in with the vaults as a portion of this tour, right, guys? Uh, maybe. Yeah, that, that might be important to people. Okay. Sure. Uh, might be important. More like extremely important. Uh, okay, well, so we're going to defer that question to a little bit later. Okay. Uh, is there anything else they're curious about? Uh, Scrubkiller69 asks, how do we acquire ghost shells? How do we acquire ghost shells, guys? Well, let's uh, swing by the speaker. Okay. Here we go. Lead the way. All right. Moves the needle. I want to point this. Poor guy, still sweeping. This out. Check this. The, uh, my footsteps on the stairs. Let me slow walk these stairs. Check this out. <laughs> it's just, it's the little things. It's the little things. It's the little things. Look at that. It's catching up with the IK. Never missing a step. Nice. Okay. Mr. Speaker. So the speaker, uh, like many of the other vendors in the tower, <clears throat> has been updated with some, some new gear and some new equipment. Okay. Oh, look at those ghosts. Look at them ghosts. Those are some freaking awesome ghosts. Even though something looks very similar to the Frontier shell, people might argue about that. It's like, <laughs> these don't. It's just, you're going to eventually switch out 
frontier chill. So you gotta you gotta get rid of that ghost. That's gonna be there forever, but you gotta get rid of that ghost. Get a better frontier version chill. Uh, we see still there are some things that are familiar. Yeah, we still God, look at that freaking <laughs> nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Awesome. Material exchange from House of Wolves. So if you're still sitting on some of those ascendant shards yeah. uh, and you want to switch them in, you can do that. Okay. Uh, but all the speaker's gear, his equipment uh, down below, mm -hmm. you can see we've updated. All right. Let's uh, as he goes by, let's uh, pay attention to. Them. So this is uh, one of the warlock bonds. Increase the upgrades increases the upgrade rate of for scout right. Increase your vanguard reputation gains. Just sweet. These so these are level forty items now, and in addition to providing defense, the class slot armor actually is providing you some useful perks now. Nice. So increase the upgrade rate for machine guns. I the it's just so good. It's it's so good, it's so 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 good. <laughs> it's it's much seamless, much better. So class armor concentrates. Increase the strength bonus provided by this piece of gear. On things that help you. Increase the intellect provided by this piece of gear, which you'll have to choose from. They can't they can't have them all. You have to choose from this stuff like you do like your raid gear, castle wheels gear sometimes, sir. Proto gear does that too. Where you have to choose what you want. You can't just like I want them all. You level up faster. So mm -hmm. in this case, you've got some perks that increase your scout rifle speed, or you can choose to increase your machine gun faster instead. I always do. The the other things that we also find on these are perks that you know speed up reputation gain. So okay. like increasing your vanguard reputation faster or crucible reputation. So these are no longer just vanity items. That's right. These are actually helping your character yep. become more powerful. Yep. As cool as this stuff looked, I never bought a single one of them in Destiny Year One. Yeah. Uh, they were really expensive. I spent my uh, resources on other things to make me more powerful. Well, you had to wear your dead orbit thing. All I the had time to too, wear so. my yeah. I did have to wear my dead orbit thing every single day. So I never bought any, but I always felt like every Engram I had every always turned into one of these, and I was yeah. furious. Yeah. <laughs> furious. Furious. <laughs> it didn't turn into shards all the time. No. Okay. <laughs> I was lucky enough to get an item that I wouldn't put on my arm. Something must have been broken then. Yeah. Um, so, as far as ghost shells go, uh, the speaker also he has a set of ghost shells because okay. you know you're always bringing. Ocean, the winter sky shell, uh, for ghosts who feel blue. <laughs> I actually like the look of that ghost, but I like the uh, fourth ghost better. And my favorite color is blue. So, <laughs> detects the. Uh, marks, text and marks nearby spirit blue. So, so like when you see like spirit, when you're close to spirit blue, like a chest or something, you hear that noise, that high pitch noise, and you, when you hear that, that that you can know when like something's near you, and that helps you find it out, find where it is. And ghosts back to yep. him, so he finds giving some back to you. So ghosts also give you defense, which is contributing to your light. They give you intellect, strength, discipline as well. Yeah. But ghosts specialize in perks that are making it easier to collect things in the world. So nice. these rare quality ghosts, for example, have perks on them that mark resource nodes. So when you're running around the moon, uh, this... So you can collect a ghost for everything you do. So like if you need a ghost for Venus, put the Venus ghost on. If you need a ghost for Mars, put the Mars ghost on. If you need a ghost for... I don't know. Whatever, whatever planet they're willing to put out, put where that ghost. This ghost, for example, uh, let's see. Exactly the same as the frontier shell. I know. <laughs> for ghosts who aren't afraid to make themselves a target. You well, or Venus, sure as it were. Venus. Yeah. Uh, this one lets you detect spirit plumes, so that'll just be called out to you and makes it easier to find those. Like a divining rod that whispers to you in the dark of night. For ghosts looking to brighten their guardians. Yep, except these ones work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, one thing that's missing... Detects and marks nearby helium filament. Collector. Missing from the speaker here. Detects and marks nearby helium filament for ghosts. Is the emblems. This is the one I like. This is my favorite one. For ghosts with 
right personalities, Dick Tex and Mars. Helium filaments. So yeah, yeah. What's up? Where'd they go? So let's uh, let's swing by uh, another little station. Okay. That's right nearby. Okay. Cool. So all the emblems, uh, along with shaders and ships and a few other things, have been moved on to these new terminals, which you can find in different locations in the tower. Um, we call these collections, okay. and this this is the emblem. Okay, these are really cool, but I just gotta laugh at that. I feel like I'm. It's my. It's a giant iPod. I just put right there. It looks like a ginormous iPod. That's. <laughs> Look, just look at it for a second. It looks like a ginormous iPod. It even looks like it has a camera on the top. Collection. So if you crack that one open. I'm just going to access it. I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate it if I were to actually crack it open. The, uh, so I can see some of the things I already have. Yep. Some so of these. This is, this is, I also wanted this too. Destiny never put this in the game until now. Which is fine, but I really wanted this too. So, like, I, I want to know how I get this done. I want to know where I got it from. I just want it to not pop up in my inventory. Oh, okay then. <laughs> so this is marking every single emblem you have, which is pretty cool. So every single emblem you have will be in here. Every single one. I'll tell you how you got it, who it's from. I'll tell you where it's from. It's just very cool. You're grayed out because uh, I still have some some foraging to do in the House of Wolves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are these collections. They keep all the ones that you found, um, and it shows you some of the ones that you haven't found yet, okay. and will actually tell you where they come from. So, so like for, I have to play Vanguard Strikes if I want that. Yep. Um, if you. If you don't have room for an emblem, like if they're cluttering up, you know, part of your vault, maybe, yeah, uh, you can, you can safely just get rid of them now because they're all available right here. So this so. keeps track of what I have acquired over time and lets me pull them out and reclaim them whenever I want to. That's right. Lets me pull out a new version of something I always had. Yeah, and we're doing the same thing with shaders, uh -huh. and we're doing the same thing with chips, and so on. And so on. See what I really like about it. I see it, and it's like a giant to-do list for me. You know, yeah, like the, I, like emblems didn't. You know, I, I I have the emblem I got early on with the N because my name's Nose really, and I've been using that since the beginning. And I, I didn't really lust after any because I I didn't see them all, but now yeah. I can see them here, and there's you know yeah. multiple pages, and I. And I'm like, oh my god, I want that. And and now I, I'm given some instructions how I can go find that in the world. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I, like I gotta catch them all. That's cool. Know? This actually looks like uh, Cosmos signifier. So, I'll get you'll be able to get some of these emblems when the game actually comes out. Because if you already completed your Defender and Striker class, you'll get the Defender and Striker emblem. Same thing with Hunters and Warlocks. On Bungie.net, Cosmo, I think we found your new emblem. Looks, Look, great. looks pretty sweet. You're going to have to do the Blade Dancer subclass, but you like Blade Dancing, don't you? I love it. Yeah, we noticed. Um, so, uh, how's our audience doing? <laughs> And uh, our internet audience, what else would they like to know? Uh, Taste My Sith asks, could you explain rep changes for factions? How rep do you changes pledge for rep? factions. Uh, what would Executor Hideo tell us about this? Well, let's swing by Hideo. Okay. So, I don't always. I'm really a dead orbit man, but yeah, hey, how well, are you doing? I'm a mnemonic man, personally. I have a, a mnemonic ship. But he's yet given me a shader. It's a lot. No, 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 no hard feelings, judging bro. Me here. Yeah. So New Monarchy, Dead Orbit, and Future War Cult yeah. uh, have all been updated. So instead of wearing the class armor to align with them, <clears throat> you now go to the vendors and you can accept allegiance with each of them. If you accept allegiance with a faction, mm -hmm. then every time you earn your Vanguard or Crucible rep, doing, again, any of the activities in the game that yeah. give you those, you're also going to earn rep with New Monarchy. Okay. It's not an exclusive thing anymore. You can go and... Like do both at the same time and advance okay. them. Being aligned with a faction means that you can buy some of their gear, uh, and because you're earning reputation with them, you also earn faction packages. So, All of your year one reputation yeah. uh, carries forward. So if you're if you're rank three with New Monarchy or rank fifty with Dead Orbit because you've been chasing Revenant, um, then you still be that in Taken King. Okay. So. You're keeping all those things. So for illustration purposes, you probably want me to accept this allegiance. Yeah, why don't you accept that allegiance? I don't, and I don't want, I, I, this is out of character, it's, but... Well, this makes me very uncomfortable. Just, just, yeah. just for the purposes the of education, down, you know, I'll do anything for science. 
So, you know, oh, come on. You can change your mind later. Look, how often can I change my mind? But you can only change your mind once a week. I'm new monarchy for a whole week for now? For a whole week now. <laughs> All that stuff's pretty self-explanatory. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't have to wear their class item anymore, which is, I think, really fun and really good. Much better. Much better. So now that you have the badge, yeah, uh, you're aligned with New Monarchy. Yes. Um, yeah, very out of character. Yeah. But you can look at look at those new sidearms. Look at those hand cannons. All the right. Just look all that gear. Can't wait to see what the new sidearms are like. Especially that Iron Banner one that they uh, showed some footage of. Oh my god. <laughs> Correct. Some of the gear that the New Monarchy guys have. Okay. Uh, so a lot of the new pieces of armor in Taken King are, they're bolstered with new perks. Mm -hmm. So the chest slot, for example, uh, used to only really give you... It's basically the same thing as uh, as uh, the uh, uh, perks on the ghosts and stuff. And just basically the same thing as House of Wolves. But it gives you more options for uh, what you want, which is uh, also really good. And since I'm like level 100 with my new monarchy, I can just go in here, buy my crap, get the level, light level, whatever I want, kill everything, get experience. It's just, ah, I can't wait, you know? Ammunition perks, but yeah. now we have some defense. Farming for those legendary uh, arcs is going to be awesome. The perks in the chest, like this one. Check it out. Um, this says, when you take damage from a solar source, for the next couple seconds, you've got a boost to recovery. So you'll be able to recover, bounce back more quickly from that damage. But there's another choice right below it, which is uh, an armor bonus if you're using one of your solar-based subclasses, like mm -hmm. Gunslinger or Sunsinger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can pick, do you want to be reactive? Do you want to be proactive? Yeah. There's another perk that you don't see on either of these that you'll find on other chest plates that actually will reduce the amount of damage done to you when uh, Burn Skull is active. So you might want to have that solar Burn Skull perk, a piece of armor with that, yeah. for Nightfall in a given week. That's and, one, not both. Uh, yeah, so it's, yep. Yeah. And one thing I like about that is it makes more of the gear in the game valuable. You yep, know, now sure. I'm going to be seeking out a chest piece that does that because you know when Nightfall comes up and it's and it's arc and it's not solar, I want that. And you know we're trying to make more of the drops in the game matter. Like we, w we want the the um, the items to mean more to you. And, and armor materials are combined are combined thing with all the high steel plating with all the. Uh, I don't play as Warlock, and I have a, a Warlock and Hunter at 34, but I don't play him as much. But all the three classes of uh, materials combine into one material, so you can use, and it's just, so you can use it for all three of your characters, which is just very convenient, much better, like, you know, all the geek and other stuff. And legendary marks are also combined for our marks. There's only still a max of 200, but it's combined, so it's much easier to spend. If you want to do something else, you can, which is much better. Some of these perks are really doing that for me. Cool. So, nice. What else? What else? What else do we want to say? Uh, these reward packages, uh, you know, they've always been, no, these are material exchanges. So these material exchanges, uh, these are interesting. These are new to Taken King because these actually... So what you're going to do is you donate a certain amount of stuff, a certain object, and you get fat, and you get uh, XP for that uh, to level up your uh, faction. So that's what basically that is. So basically, they had this before, but they they uh, they uh, like in Vanilla Destiny, they had this, and then they stopped it for some reason because I want I don't want all like I don't want to keep deleting spin metal and stuff like that. Do something with it. That you convert some of the materials that you might have a lot of sitting around yeah. in exchange for reputation. So uh, you've got about as many armor materials as most people are currently sitting on. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if you want to just cash some of those in for reputation, you can just swing by your faction of choice and uh, and do that. Okay, looking good. And then uh, of course, yep. Of course, they're, they're always going to be a great source of weapons. And we've talked a lot about uh, you know the weapon. Again, with the weapons, again, like, they, they're going to give you perks, they're going to give you the same thing, 
it's basically they're they're adding a lot of new perks. They're adding a lot of new ways to upgrade and ways to change stuff. They want to they want to they want to make everything new. Got scopes. It's basically the same thing as the House of Wolves without the defense, and they're just adding a lot of new perks, a lot more options to upgrade your gun building. The foundries. So this is uh, the new monarchy edition of a Soros auto rifle, mm -hmm. and uh, a stop to uh, a vendor is uh, never complete unless I can inspect their glorious new machine guns. And I'm, even though it doesn't say reforge, I think all the guns are so like every single gun is never besides obviously Crota's gear, Crota's end gear and stuff like that. I mean not Crota's, Crota's end. Like the uh, raid and stuff like that. So, looking pretty. This is actually reason for me to actually do some business with New Monarchy. Because if there's a mission out there that creates fits and challenges for me, and solar perks would help me overcome that mission. Mm -hmm. God. Well, and the faction vendors, um, they some of them even have quests for you now too, right? Faction-specific quests? Yeah, in fact, it's the case that if you uh, rank up to certain ranks there mm -hmm. are some quests waiting for you in there so talk to me about it since i'm level 100 he's going i'm going to be basically <laughs> i'm going to basically get all the quests <laughs> promotion so i get a reward, reward package what should i expect from that so the faction packages uh are much improved in tanking yeah. you're not just going to get a single shard from them anymore <laughs> sorry about that the uh, faction packages are a guaranteed legendary now, in addition to some strange coins, motes of light. Uh, and then the other thing that we've changed about how they work is there's a higher chance to get things like the shaders or like even the emblems shader. now. Much, <laughs> much better. Like, I, I haven't got a shader yet, level 100. It sucks. It, it sucks. I'm level 100 and don't have a shader. What the heck? God. Good old Revenant, Good like old everyone's Revenant. favorite. Yeah. The important change we made there, though, is that once a uh, shader's been added to your collection... You won't get it again. It is taken out of the stream, so a different one will drop instead. So Less duplicates. Yep. So basically, this is the same thing with all the RNG. So basically, if you have... This is... I'm thinking that this is basically the same thing for the RNG. So, like, it's not... So, pretend I get a gallon horn. And it's... The chance of getting another one is lowered, basically. It's not completely taken off. But with this, I think it's the same way. I don't think it's completely taken off, but I do think there's a like extremely low chance you'll get it again. Fewer duplicates, you're guaranteed to eventually get the shader that you're chasing. All right. I take back everything I ever said about you, Executor Hideo. Nice to spend some time with you today. Uh, Cosmo, how you doing? Doing good. Uh, what is our internet audience talking about now? Uh, let's see here. Bronzevian asks, will there be any more space in the vault? <laughs> okay. We've, uh, we've heard the vault space question. Uh, should, we go, should we go check in with the vault right now, guys? Uh, I think we should stay on target, man. All right, all right. Yeah, we got, we got a lot. We got a lot of places to go. Okay. What else? What else do they want to know about Cosmo? Uh, I have toes. Says, what happens to existing Vanguard and Crucible marks come TTK? What does happen to existing Vanguard and Crucible marks come Taken King? Well, if we go see Shax, Shax has uh, some stuff for us to check out, and okay. we can probably we can probably answer that. Because these vaults are right here. Are you sure you don't want me to just stick my head stay in here real quick? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, down into the Hall of Guardians. Your victory. Here he is. I just heard Eris. Right behind. Creepy. Is Hulk of a man. He is the Crucible, you know. He is the Crucible. No place for mercy. So the first thing you'll see here is that Shax has quests for you. So not only... Everybody, everybody has quests for you, which is amazing. Everybody. We have PvE, you know, cooperative mm -hmm. um, quests. We also have player versus player quests, and these are going to start as, as early as level five and carry you throughout um, throughout your destiny journey. And so here you can see, and it's got you know, this is about killing you know, uh, kills with plus two con control zones, and mm -hmm. there's also. 
very good for PvP people. So PvP people can get in on the action too. Like obviously there'll be rewards for raids, and they don't like to do raids. That's fine, but they don't get that gear. But they still can be the same level as you without non-special gear. Rewards for these quests. So, um, you know, this is we think this is a really important part of of the experience because there are there are people who really binge on PvP, and you know we want there to be many ways for them to be able to um, experience the game and earn earn you know valuable rewards. Yep. Sure. Okay. Cool. If you go back to Shax, you will notice um, he's got uh, a suite of. He's got ghosts, different helmets, different. Yeah, he has a whole bunch of different gear, but the main thing is he has ghosts. And he also has bounties, if you can see them on the screen. And all of this stuff does the same perks, does all that stuff. New bounties. Um, Get ready to screenshot, YouTubers. These yeah, are screenshot. all weekly bounties, too. Yeah. Screenshot. They're all, they're all weekly bounties. And if you complete screenshot. <laughs> all five of these weekly bounties, you can complete the final bounty here on the right, which is the true mini. This will give you a legendary. Ex this will give you a legendary or exotic. You don't know what it is. It's like it's like doing the raid. You don't know what the unknown rewards is. It's it is pretty cool. So make sure you complete all the exotics to do this. This is basically another week thing we have to. Thing of war, which as you can see, gives you unknown rewards for one week. So as you can see in the stock refresh, it doesn't refresh until four days. It's basically, it would be. It would be six, but, you know, they've been playing with this for a while. Well, we can tell you today, they're, they're not so unknown. These are excellent rewards. They're Nightfall tier rewards. So, you know, let, you know certainly legendary and a transfer, even exotic. We mm -hmm. wanted PvP players to have, you know, an avenue to get those same kind of rewards because, you know, these aren't easy bounties. Like yep. This, this is, this is this going to be hard to do. Sure. And unknown rewards are still fun. I mean, you don't want to completely remove every element of mystery from Destiny. Oh, yeah, there's, there's still some randomness there. But if you do this, you're going to get a sweet reward, like, period, every week. Yeah, and Lord Shax says, you showed them. Or maybe I'll just say that. <laughs> you showed them the true meaning of war. Cool. All right. Uh, also, check this out. I see... Uh, Oh yeah, competitive shell. For ghosts who stood with their guardian as they became champions of invisible. Detects and marks nearby spirit bloom. So basically all the ghosts are gonna have that. But here we get to take a look at some legendary shells. And generate additional glimmer when killing hunters in the crucible. And there's the other one that's warlocks. And <laughs> oh god, I will be collecting ghosts like crap. Some legendary ghosts? Yeah, so there's the Titan one. So if you open one of those legendary ghosts, okay. uh, so in addition to the sensor perks that you saw on the rare tier ones, you've mm -hmm. got, you know, more stat bonuses, uh, sensors, um, extractor perks, which just increase the amount of a material that you get. Okay, yeah. And then there's also these perks, which are generating additional glimmer as you kill things. So, Interesting. you know, here's a perk nice. for someone who likes Picking on about our titans. In I PvP. love picking on titans in PvP, <clears throat> especially hunters. Are there hunter ones? There are one of each on Shack, so you'll nice. be able to pick your poison. So between all the ghosts I'm going to collect and all yeah. the armor I'm going to collect with the different burn defenses on it, I'm, I'm going to really want more space, man. Yeah, well, yeah. you're the one who won't let me look in the vault. So, <laughs> so uh, there was a question though about the so legendary going, marks. Right? Going back to the question about yeah, uh, marks. What happens to our marks? Vanguard and Crucible marks. So Vanguard and Crucible Marks are both being replaced with a single new currency. We're trying to simplify this, uh, make it easier for people to do what they want to do, but still be able to access a lot of the different rewards in the tower. Yeah. So Legendary Marks replace Vanguard. I can't be just like the Legend of Zelda where I only buy a bigger wallet, you know? Instead of having 25,000 Glimmer for the rest of my entire life. Marks, Crucible Marks, these are actually account-wide, the same as your Glimmer is, so if you've earned them on one character, you can still use them to buy something on another character. Nice, nice. Uh, these come from things like the Daily Heroic or the Weekly Heroic, but they also come from the Daily PvP playlists okay. and Weekly PvP playlists as well. So this goes back to our original point about letting people play what they want to play and get the stuff that they want to get. I feel yep. like there's a lot of sort of firewalls being lifted where if I want to spend all my time in the Crucible, yep. I can do that. Or if I'm somebody 
somebody who loves strikes and raids and patrols, but I want that dead orbit gear. You're not forcing me to go in and earn crucible marks to do that. That's right. There's so giving players a little bit more freedom over their experience. Yeah, you know? we, we, we want people to be able to do the things that they enjoy playing Destiny and okay. you know not feel like they have to do one thing or another. Now there are still some specific rewards to specific activities. Of course, but, of course. But you know. So the other thing about legendary marks is you'll see you've got 200 here, so that's the size of your wallet. Yeah. Um, but unlike Vanguard marks and Crucible marks, there's actually no limit on how many you can earn in a week. So you can spend these 200 right now and just go yeah. back out into the battlefield and start killing things and getting more marks. So I've hit the ceiling. I have 200, yeah. that's as much as I can hold it's in a, my wallet. That's the size of your wallet. But I spend down and I earn again and I spend down and I earn again. Yeah. And you're never going to tell me over the course of a week, you've earned enough, stop playing. Yeah, you've had too much fun. Go yeah. away. <laughs> we had too much fun. Now, <laughs> stop playing Destiny. Yeah, I always hated that. I was like, I'm not earning anything when I'm doing Crucible Max or like Nightfalls or anything. Like, like strikes. Like, why am I not earning anything? Because there's a level cap of only 200, which, no, it's 100. Only a, get 100 Crucible and 100 Vanguard marks. Now it's infinity, but your wallet only can carry 200. Um, okay, nice. But the original question was, I have all these Vanguard marks, I have all these Crucible marks, what happens to them on September 15th? On 9.15, when you log in, we'll convert the old marks from... Uh, the marks to commendations. Okay. So uh, players should find that pretty useful because when they come into Taken King, they'll have a bunch of these commendations waiting for them on the postmaster, mm -hmm. and you know you might be able to like just cash them in and get a uh, a faction package right away. Okay. So yeah, I'll I'll put those in my inventory and. Uh the same way we did on day one of uh, the House of Wolves, I take those commendations, I burn them from reputation, That's right. and I just watch my vanguard and my crucible rep yep. go up. I get some of these new reward packages that you Hopefully. were talking about. Yep. There's okay. one other key source of legendary marks, um, which is in the name, yep. legendaries themselves. And so when you get a legendary item, you can, you, know, you can say, hey, I like this, I don't want to equip this. Or you can shard it, and when you shard the legendary item, it actually generates legendary marks. So if you go ahead and shard that item. Yeah, you sure? Yep. You sure? Yep, yep, do it. Oh, whoops. Um, so. <laughs> Is it because I didn't reach the proper level? It's because it's not 915 yet. Ah, okay. Uh, so legendary armor, the year two stuff that you get from Taken King, uh, actually will produce legendary marks when you shard it. So if you find a legendary that you're not going to use, uh, you can just, you know, chew it up and use it to. Yeah. Feel your other purchases. So it's still valuable to me. Absolutely. It's still, okay, cool. I'm, I'm earning currency, I'm earning money, if you will, yep. by dismantling things. But make sure you don't have 200 mark, in, marks when you dismantle it. Because if you don't have any marks when you dismantle it, basically you Things that I have no use for, I can then use that currency to buy things I actually want. Yep. So. And that's what Deej has. He has 200 marks. And that's because, <laughs> that's why it didn't work. Taking a little bit of that, you know, like that wasteful earning sensibility out. Like, I don't need this, but I do, you know, it always yeah. has something you need. We, we want more of the things that drop for players to be valuable and yeah. useful, even if you actually don't have a use for another pair of legs that, you know, have less power on it. Um, so in addition to sharding them for marks, we have another mechanic that we'll talk about a bit later that, you know, is intended to keep things useful to you. Okay. So let's head over to our site across the hall here. Yeah, the Quartermaster. He, yeah, he also has some new PvP bounties. This time that are very um, weapon focused. Okay. So let's check some of those out. Get ready. I don't think they're doing anything with sparrows, but uh, I think it'll be the same thing. But there's a lot of neon green, deep blue uh, guns. Do screenshot and go. So these are, uh, these are also weekly bounties, um, and these are just, you know, switching things up a little bit. Yep. Our site here specializes in the Crucible weapons, and so he's got some bounties that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, ask you to try out some different weapons. Okay, cool. He's got his own guns, too. Looking good. Very colorful. Yeah, there's a, a certain color motif going on here, and I'm not sure I recognize it. I don't, yeah, I have no clue where that comes from comes from the dark below and what's with all the neon green crap ah, I didn't really like that stuff anyway okay anything else about the crucible quartermaster uh, 
you can see that uh, obviously my rank is uh, not zero in the Crucible. Uh, this is a test account. You are in a test environment. My Crucible reputation, my Crucible rank mm -hmm. carries over? They all carry over, yes. Okay, so I may be able to walk in here on day one and just start buying weapons as soon as I have the necessary currency. As soon as you get some legendary marks, yeah. you have access to all these things. Okay, and uh, obviously the bounties are for the taking and for the tracking on my ghost right away. Yep. Cool. All right. So uh, I guess in terms of where we go next here in the tower. Uh... If you didn't just see that, there was Eris just saying, oh, they're not going to talk to Eris because they're mean like that. But <laughs> they don't want to spoil anything, I guess. But, uh, you know, Eris is over there. Uh, let's go to Cosmo. How's our audience, Cosmo? Great. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... and there's Eris. Look at her. At her new... Has her own little place now. Instead of outside next to her ship, she's like, "Well, I just got, I finally got moved into the tower. They finally accepted me. I'd have to stay in the back next to my ship." Of course, our, our virtual audience, what would they like to know? Uh, Slayer Thrall says, "I'm always low on vault space. Cosmo. What new man? Listen, you ask me to get questions for the you. <laughs> Deej is so mad." I just, he, if he keeps saying vault, 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 oh my god, this, uh, DJ gets really mad really fast if you don't, because he, DJ just, ah, uh, DJ just like, gets mad over everything, it's like, I, they're like, we're not gonna give you that information, shut up, you signed a contract community and this is what they want to know <laughs> okay i promise that we're going to go into the vault before the end of the tour okay so let's let's get a different question okay uh jared's ask what about exotic blueprints will that be covered today what about exotic blueprints guys okay there's a terminal over there i don't know what it's for but i'm excited not to know this live interview though find out for ourselves and there's all the people over there like a little something on the yeah, there's uh, stuff on the left. Exotic blueprint, so if you go to your... I want to know what that terminal is on the right. Your uh, left or your right here. Yeah. Boom. So these terminals here, down in the Hall of Guardians, are your exotic blueprint collections. And what an exotic blueprint is... It's a giant iPhone. God. Is, is it's a record of having found one of these exotics in year one or in year two. Yeah. So if you open up that terminal, you'll see the different exotics that you've found and added to your collection. Okay. These all year one exotics. Switched over, they don't want to uh, see anything. We can. I don't know if we can, but of having found one of these exotics in year one or in year two. Yeah. So to if you open up that down. terminal, you'll see the different exotics that you... Oh, <laughs> that's a good picture. So those exotics are available for uh, year two and uh, body armor and there's class items. Those are all of the new exotics. This will tell you how much you got. And they finally, there's a class item, and, well, that's probably the exclusive class item, and those are the class items you get through the story. And warlocks never have freaking leg armor. I don't know what it is about that. They don't like having leg armor for warlocks. Found and added to your collection. Okay. So, so all the stuff that you saw there is available right now. But uh, I don't know how much of this stuff is available during year two, but they just they, he just has a couple of them just to give us a little sneak peek. Every time you find an exotic... Uh, but since I'm a titan, if they don't have rune wings coming year two, I'm going to be so mad because I don't care about the freaking defender gauntlets for the uh, exotic defender gauntlets for the uh, titans. I, I want those rune wings for year two. If they don't bring those, I'm going to be so mad. They better bring my Hell of Saint 14, though, too. Those are the exotics I just... Those are the exotics I care about. The blueprint is added to this collection. 
And okay. what these collections are here for is, you know, if you misplace an exotic or, you my know... My dog steps on my dog controller. dog steps on the controller for 10 whole seconds and shards it. My fiancé um, thinks I play too much Destiny well, and vengefully, like, you you don't need this. You don't need this not, light beyond Nemesis. not get into those, those personal problems. Okay, sorry, um, this, uh, this is a place where you can actually just come back here and pull another one of these out of the vault and, you know, uh, get back what you may have lost. Okay. The, I, I like to think of this as like the uh, Star Trek replicators, yes. right? But instead of ordering hot tea, like you're asking for Plan C, and you get like a new one. Plan C, right? hot. Yes. Yeah. The uh, the other useful thing here is if you've got an alt and you just want to get a copy of that thing for an alt character, you can just go to the blueprint. Yeah. This is this is a these are year one. These can't be not these cannot level up to be year two. So if you buy one of these. They cannot be leveled up to year two unless they have it in their year two slots. So not all of the warlock exotics that were in year one not be available in year two. Only some of them will be available in year two. Not all of them. Okay, so these are account based? Yes, these are all account wide. Okay, so all of the characters I have on one account can access all of the blueprints. It's much better than switching over and worrying about all that. You want to put your exotic on something else you can just go to tower and go to this blueprints guide gained right. across all of those separate adventures but you do have to level it up again it's a you're basically buying a brand new exotic so let's actually talk a little bit about the exotics themselves so okay. this is late beyond nemesis one of this my is, favorites this is gear one yeah. uh it's giving you the perk that lets you revive people faster yep but you know you have to spend a bunch of time and resources sure. like upgrade, leveling this up, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. upgrade. Yeah, it really only so, becomes valuable until you get here. Yeah, and even then, there's still got work to do. Yeah. So in year two, we've actually taken some of the year one exotics, yeah. uh, some favorites, and we've we've upgraded them. We've made them better so that not only can you still get them, but they're improved. So okay. if you switch so, over to this page, so here is the. Light Beyond Nemesis version for Destiny the Taken King. This is the yep. year two Light Beyond Nemesis. Now, I see here there are some other engrams here. There are some other exotics for me to chase, yeah, but we, because I already acquired Light Beyond Nemesis... That's right. Because you have the blueprint. Gonna, yeah. You're just going to give it to me. Yeah, so any of the year one exotics that you have found... Which is really nice. You don't have to recollect it over again. So, like, pretend if Ruin Wings... You got... <laughs> if Ruin Wings you got in year one... You see it in year two. If you got it, so if you basically have all the exotics and there's a year two version of it, you'll automatically get that year two version of it. But you put you do have to pay for it though with all this legendary marks. It's 125 legendary, but you do can farm for infinity, basically. But you only level caps 200. Found. Uh, any of those that are available in year two mm -hmm. are available right here on the the, uh, the blueprint. So I go and it I does some, it does cost some legendary marks. Yeah, I own some legendary Let's drill marks. in and you'll see why. Okay. So these are improved not only in level but. So as soon as you get the exotic, you can dive into the exotic perk. You don't have to wait to level up to get that exotic perk. So I like pretend Lord of Wolves. So to the recovery perk. That that recovery perk will already be unlocked for me, which is nice. Uh, the exotic armor, we've taken the signature perk, yeah. and we've moved it on to intrinsic. So. so the keeper of the pack, the thing that lets me revive my friends faster, the reason I got the helmet, the yep. reason why I upgraded that helmet after I got it, that's active now. That's as soon as I right acquire away. the helmet... The thing that made it great is already live. Yeah, you can okay. you can try these exotics out much more easily now. And when you level them up, uh, they start at the max power, yeah. just like they did in House of Wolves. So we're really trying to make it so that when you get an exotic, you know, you can just use it yeah. and just enjoy it right away. Well, and then you got some new ways to upgrade it. I'm not just making it more powerful. I'm adding new talents to this helmet. Yeah, so there's new talents available on a lot of these exotics. Uh, so this one, for example, is Inverse Shadow here. And right down below it is a new perk that increases the super energy you gain when you're getting heavy weapon kills. Yeah. So now what I what, what I'm wondering about this is that you know how we talk about discipline and stuff when there sells new products. So like I'm wondering about that. Does it change its discipline in any way? Or does it stay at a certain discipline? 
because, like, pretend this helmet had 180 intellect. And would it change over the next week? Have, like, if you get the same exotic, you buy a new exotic, and it's 100 intellect, and you buy that accidentally or get that again, will it change that perk? I don't know how those stat rolls work, but that's a it's a good question. It's very confusing on how it works, and hopefully it gives you a good roll. It doesn't give you like, oh look at this, I got a helmet has eighty eight intellect. Woo! Nothing else. It sucks. And so like, I'm I'm excited about this for my you know for weapons as well because I I have the. Bad Juju exotic uh, bounty quest right now, and I haven't finished it yet. Um, but I'm almost there. I'm going to finish it probably in the next couple of weeks. Okay. And, you know, because I work at Bungie. Take a look at those swords. But we'll get to that later. I know that a level 40 Bad Juju is coming out in September. Exotic shorts. Um, and so. Sword. I'm going to have immediate access to be able to get that thing. You know, yeah. and I'm, I'm fine. Be. I'm not going to be able to actually use it because I haven't I haven't earned it yet. But um, once I earn it, I'm have the blueprint and I'm going to be able to buy that level 40 version. And so I'm already spending my you know legendary marks in my head. Like that's the, one of the first things that I'm going to chase. Yeah. yeah. So can I go Are, in here? Yeah. Can I? Let's, can I, let's, let's oh, go in there. Okay. So uh, we didn't want it to be the case. Yeah. Case that if you found something in your one. So basically, this is what I, my vault. This will like when I hop into this. This will basically what I'll be looking. The only thing I do not have is the uh, fourth horseman, which I really, really want. It's the last exotic I need. Yeah. That you had to go and find it again in your two. So that's yeah. why that's why the blueprints give you access to the updated versions of any of the year one items. But you're only bringing some of those exotics forward. Yeah, only some of them are coming forward right now. Right, and okay. but any exotic that we bring forward, yeah, there'll be the updated versions. Okay. Available here in the blueprints. So you can see my collection here. I, I earned truth. Uh, I zerned Gallerhorn along with lots of people. Maybe. Yes, lots of people earned freaking Gallerhorn. Gallerhorn's not even going to be in year two. People will give you stats in the Bungie Weekly update. Uh, never really took a stab at Dragon's Breath, but I do love my heavies, so... You know, if you're uh, if you're more of a completionist than me, you can come in here and and gaze upon your treasures yep. and uh, and then buy back a new version of those. If at such a time, you know, I say, you know what, I want to give Universal Remote a second chance. Or, yep. uh, you know, I remember uh, back in. So these are the new upgraded exotics. <laughs> we'll get to that in the day. You know, like like Soros Regime. Mm -hmm. You know, at the launch of Destiny, first Iron Banner, Soros Regime was an absolute terror. It was the thorn of its day. And then, you know, it got adjusted, but with the 2.0 weapon update, mm -hmm. auto rifles are coming back in a big way. So, I always loved Soros. So, well, let's look at the updated version of Soros. Okay. Along with... I'm glad they're bringing back Red Death. Ah, oh, God. Red Death is my... I, I'm a pulse rifle. Red Death is my else. Even though I want to get... I don't... I keep firing for the Freaking strike! And they don't want to give me hops out children, but Red Death is my go-to strike, and I can't wait. You see the invective, you see the last word, you see the service regime, you see the uh, Red Death, you see the Thunderlord, you see the Truth. Those are all new designed exotics waiting for you at the tower when you start up uh, Tank King. Again, here are all of these missing engrams, all yep. of these new things to chase. All of these, just, you know, imagine, if you will, all of these you freaking. year two exotic weapons, and then, you know, it got adjusted. We're going to we're 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 take a look at this invective. It's like zoomed by it. 2.0 weapon update. Mm -hmm. Auto rifles are coming back in a big way. So I always loved Suros. So well, let's look at the updated version of Suros. Okay. Along with, again, here are all, all of these. You can't trick me. So this is the new exotic. I love I love what it says in the objective. <laughs> this is my favorite part about the objective is the description. I tried to talk them down. They made a grab for my ghost. After that, it's a short conversation. <laughs> oh, I love that. 
missing engrams, all yep. of these new things to chase, all of these, just, you know, imagine if you will, all of these year two exotic weapons, you know, what's going to be the next Red Death, what's going to be the next Gallarhorn, what's going to be the next Thorn or Last Word. Boom. And I got the Soros regime. Black Soros. So the Soros regime here updated, uh, it's different. Uh, now I'm going to change what I said earlier about the It'll be available for the armor, but not the guns. You'll still have to level up. If you want the exotic perk for the, the your gun, you need to level up service to get that exotic. It's tweaked just a little bit so yeah. that it follows what the rest of the Soros Foundry weapons do. Um, and for example, in this case, you can choose between these first two Fires perks. Fires even fast. That's awesome. Because yeah. I so, actually liked Soros before I upgraded it, and it you know was given a slower rate of fire. Mm -hmm. So I can make it fire faster. Yep, and then gives me know. my health back. Yep. Much, much better Zeros. I can't wait to use this thing. I can make it more accurate. That's awesome. Yeah, and check this out. It's back in black. That is sexy. It's like Darth Vader's Ferrari right there. I want it. I want it. And I don't have to go out, and I don't have to worry about it dropping. I don't have to wait for Zer to sell it to me. That's right. It's here. I have the up graded blueprint, I'm grandfathered in, this is where I'm going to be spending my first legendary marks. Yep. If you found it in year one, we want to make sure that you have it in year two. Cool. Could you just go back in there for a second? Like, I sure. noticed something um, that we didn't talk about earlier, uh, that the attack values on the year one weapons mm -hmm. has changed. Okay. Like if you look at Suros, his 160 here. Well, yeah. Tyson, can you, yeah, can so you talk about that? We, we, took the, we took all the values on the, the attack values and the defense values, and we, we brought them all in line with each other so that you can look at a 160 weapon and compare it to a 160 helmet and sort of know that you're dealing with the same quality of item. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually, we use the current value that people have on their armor, uh, their light value, which is about 168. And that's sort of where we, we set our midpoint and then we balanced everything around that. So people actually haven't lost any effectiveness. Oh, like, sir, you know, it's, it, whatever you can kill with Suros on September hits. 14th, Hilt's just as hard on September 15th. Yeah, it's just math. Like the numbers guns, have just changed. Your yeah. guns hit just as hard, and your armor is just as good at protecting you. So, yeah. It's like we switched over to the metric system. Yes. Okay. The superior system, in fact. The superior. Well, okay. The superior metric system. That's, that's, keep in mind who you're sitting. Between. What are you? Yeah. What are you saying? All right. So, uh, of course, we've got uh, our vanguards down here. Uh, I have always been, uh, you know, always been loyal to Ikora. So she's going to have uh, new quests for me to go and acquire. I want to go to that terminal. They don't want you to go to that terminal. I feel like, I think that's a quest terminal anyway. My new subclasses, but uh, looking forward to joining your ranks, Zavala. Yeah, I know. I know I'm pretty. One of us. All right. So uh, let's get out of the Hall of Guardians. Cosmo, perhaps you can help us. Look at Eris. Understand where we're going next. A lot of great questions coming in. Uh, TJZ117 says, Vault space, vault space, vault space. <sighs> Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, not yet. Good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those who wait. That's what the Cryptarch always used to say, right? Yeah. Well, let's, so let's, yeah, let's look at the Cryptarch for a second. Okay. Uh, only a little change. Pinch the Cryptarch, uh, but I think it's one that people appreciate. Legendary engram. Boom. Boom. And boom. I'm tired of freaking him selling freaking common and uncommon crap. So stupid. <laughs> you could potentially get an exotic from him. So besides being able to go to him and he actually sell you some engrams now for legendary. Legendary. Marks. Are they really legendary engrams? They are really legendary. Sure they are. They're not going to decrypt the greens. Yeah, we. Uh, the, I follow this guy on Twitter. He's a real pain in the ass. Oh, isn't he? <laughs> they won't turn into shards anymore. Either. They don't turn into shards anymore. So though, that's so. a that's a weapon. Yeah. That's a, that is a that's a. a it special might weapon. even be an exotic. So. Oh come on, man! You're setting yourself up so hard with oh, that. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, and then there's always uh, there's always mystery flavor right yep. there. Okay. Uh, my reputation will carry over. In Absolutely. fact. Absolutely. So, so anyone yeah. who screenshots this and puts it out and starts to rage. <laughs> We all know that if you're not ranked 200 with the Cryptarch, you're not, you're not doing it right. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'm not doing it right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like rank 100 with him or something. So let's, um, let's so, go talk to one of the characters in the tower that um, maybe didn't 
ha didn't get enough love in Destiny 1, and we really tried to boost him up, which is Banshee, the, the gunsmith. You know, maybe you were buying lots of fusion rifles from him, but generally speaking, he didn't have a whole lot for you other than that. And we, we wanted to really change that with, with uh, the Taken King. Okay. So to start here, you can see, he's got a suite of field tests. Yep. Yep. Yeah, those those freaking uncommons are much better than my legendaries. It's weird. Weapons. These are guns that you can kind of like lease out for free. Okay. That are, are pretty cool, and uh, and you get you try you get to try a sweet. It's gonna be fun doing this. I can't wait. It's gonna be different. It's gonna make you do different things and act weird holding these guns because you're like an uncommon gun. I mean, I have a common gun. What am I going to do with this? I can't kill anyone with this. I just hop in the crucible and <laughs> try it out. Two different weapons, and they're like weapon bounties. Um, that you take the weapon, you equip it, you go into the world, you shoot a bunch of monsters, you kill a bunch of stuff, and uh, when you've completed that, uh, you earn reputation with the chance to refill this weapons. Critically wounded. Huh, that's pretty cool. Chance to refill this weapons magazine when critically wounded. Pretty cool. Gunsmith. Yeah. So, For the first time. That's yes. right. So everybody has a gunsmith zero reputation. This is actually accurate right now. Makes sense to earn reputation with a gunsmith. You have to kill things with his guns. So with the gunsmith, uh, as you use field test weapons yeah. or you complete quests for him, because he's involved in a lot of the quest chains, he'll increase your gunsmith reputation. And what that gets you is access to these, which are the foundry orders. Okay. So once you hit rank one or higher, yeah. you can go to Banshee and look at the things he has available in a given week and pick one or two of them. Okay. So because you're rank zero, you can't accept any right now, no. but once you rank up and at higher ranks, you can have more of them at a time. And what an order does for you is it says when the next arms day, which is on Wednesdays, uh, the next Wednesday that rolls around, his delivery will be here for you, and you'll be... And, and that delivery will be a shotgun. You'll be, you'll be able to choose what you want. Order for you, coming the next week, you go, go to your uh, thing, and he'll have it for you, waiting there for specifically. It'll have different perks on it, though. It won't have, it'll have random perks on it, but it'll still be a gun. Right be able to come and pick up the weapon of the type that you chose. So does this, this coincides with the weekly reset? Uh, it's the day after, in fact. Day so, after, okay. Yeah. So Wednesday is going to be new gun day in the Crucible. That's right. So again, this is another deterministic way to get something sweet in the yep. game. You, yeah. you can look at what he has available, and you can pick the ones that you're interested so the, in. So yeah, these aren't engrams. I'm actually, if I buy this, I'm actually going to get a Hakka... Jin Jin Kugo D. Kugo D. Okay, good. I, I, th I thought it was pronounced Hekka. Hakka? Hekka? Actually, there's a huge culture war at Bungie right now between, uh, you know, the, the Dutch and the Germans. Yeah. So if you, it depends on who you ask. Uh, Hakka? History repeats. Or Hekka? So. Or, yeah, so I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to have that be potato and potato <laughs> in the world of destiny. Um, so I can get... Uh, and the, the, this uh, the stock will refresh from week to week. Yeah, every week he has a different so, set of orders available. That'll and be a conversation. That pulse rifle. Point, right? Like, yep. I really hope for Arms Day he has X, Y, or Z. And then, uh, of course, we've always had the, uh, you know, all the those are the weapons. If you miss that, those you can still reforge all your stuff. Consumables too. All the consumables, telemetries, ammunition. So Tyson, so, last week you already you already did this, right? Yeah, actually, I have an order ready on my character, so let's check it out. I can just go to the gunsmith here, and when I talk to him, he'll just pop up. Here's my order. So my order's arrived. It's a Seros DIS forty three scout rifle. Nice scout rifle, and I'll just take that weapon. You know, go up here and crack that one open, and. Just like the other, uh, the Soros regime we were looking at, Soros weapons, they have uh, perks that let you choose and customize their behavior a little bit more. Um, you know, rodeo, and then basically, like the Soros weapons, you want to tweak them to the way you like them. Sure. Or so I say, I don't like it, I'm going to dismantle it, I'm going to get some marks, and I'm going to go buy my Soros. Yep. Yeah. And so th there's a talent on this screen, and that's been a lot of screen you've been avoiding. Let me talk about that. So this is the Infuse, uh, the node. So all the year two legendaries and exotics, they have this node on it, which is basically the, the replacement for Ascension for these year two items. 
And the way Infuse works is you can take a weapon like this one, yeah. and you know maybe this is my favorite weapon, and I really like this one, but it's getting long in the tooth because I'm getting some raid drops that are higher power and so on. Well, I can open this up and... All right, let's take a look at this for a sec. So I'm going to read this. You may infuse this gear by embedding it with another gear's power, dismantling the other gear in the process. The dismantled gear must be unlocked, not currently equipped, and of the same year, and get gear slot. A simpler, quickly quality, and higher level than the current gear. So, read that really messed up. <laughs> so, anyway, so it has to be unlocked. It has to be the same year. And it can be any gun you want. And you can dismantle that to make a better gun, which uh, you'll see right here. What Infusion lets you do is say, I'm going to take a more powerful weapon, like this 290 here, mm -hmm. and I pay some, some currencies, some parts, and I can consume this weapon to make this weapon stronger. So now this is a 288, and I can keep walking these weapons or pieces of armor up and keeping them current, because we're really trying to deliver on people being able to find things that they're excited about mm -hmm. and keep them and customize their character, keep them with them. But do be careful, because you're still losing material. You might dismantle a gun you don't want. Them. This is a Destiny Year Two feature. That's right. This these, works on Destiny Year Two weapons. That's right. These are these are found on all the Year Two weapons and all the Year Two armor. Sorry, legendary weapons. Yeah. Exotic weapons. Yeah. Legendary armor. Exotic armor. So this allows me if I if I get a legendary item that I really like, but might be medium level in terms of its attack or defense. Yep. And I like I, I either I like the way it looks or I like the talent combination on it. I can continue to pull this thing forward by right. like essentially using other other items, other higher power items as fuel That's to, right. to upgrade this thing. Yeah, you can you can use higher level legendaries. You can even use higher level blues if you find them yeah. as fuel to make your legendaries and your exotics stronger. So this is another way it's going to let people look different in the end game. That's right. Right. So is there like a sacred altar where we can bring our guns and do like a ritualistic chant as we sacrifice them to infuse the guns into other guns? Well, there is a sacred altar where you'll be storing a lot of these guns because if you've got a lot of projects on the go, well, you know, where are you going to keep those things? Cosmo, where do you think we're going to keep those things? I assume in the vault. Should we go to the vault, everybody? <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Come on, vault space. Vault space, vault space, vault space, vault space, vault space. Everybody, welcome to the sword. Sword on his back. Look at the sword on his back. Ah! I want that sword. Vault space. What are you doing? You done? Sword! Look at it! It's a sword! <laughs> My turn. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> so, vault space. What about it? We've doubled your vault space. Double it! So. <laughs> for weapons? Double the vault space for weapons. So, so here are your tabs. Up. Do you see the sword? It's the, there's a sword like in the middle of the screen. It's on the far right side. Second row. Uh, three to the left. Can't wait. Just can't. Here in the corner. Yeah, double your vault space for weapons. These are your pages. We pageified the vault space. And actually a little bit more than doubled for armor. Okay, so I tab over for the armor screen. Also you can take a look at some of that armor. So 72 slots there. 72 slots for armor. Yep. Uh, I don't have enough well, because I like my dead orbit armor, and that's all the armor I need, okay? Okay. And then... And this is just the miscellaneous stuff. Basically, general stuff. And the general is the same size, but the thing that's going to help you out here is I'm all gonna, those collections. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put all this stuff in those collections. Too. That's right. You yeah. can pop those emblems and those shaders and even vehicles or ships. Yeah, and sure. 
just really use this for materials, for example, yeah. or I see uh, jack lights there, which I'm sure a lot of you still have in your... I certainly have two jack lights and two of the shadows of that thing. I have two of them. <laughs> oh, God. Sure. In your vault. Sure. I would, uh, yeah, I'm saving that for Halloween. Yep. Cool. What else, can, what else is there to say? I mean, what else... Look at the sword. What else is there to do in the tower? How does, how does every visit to the tower culminate? Well, it's not a visit to the tower without a dance party, right? All right. Let's be dancing. Look at those sick dance moves. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Uh, I'd like to thank our live studio audience. Uh, please, again, join me in thanking subject matter experts Mark no Freaking sword on his back. Can't just stop looking at it. Noseworthy. <laughs> Tyson Green. Yeah. Fellow community manager Cosmo with your questions. Sick dance moves. And uh, I'm Deej from Bungie. Couple of uh, programming notes. Uh, next week, the conversation about the Taken King continues. Uh, we're actually going to fire a few shots in anger at the Cabal. We're going to infiltrate the Dreadnought, and we're going to fight the Cabal in enemy territory. So please join us as we play a new strike. Special community guest Mr. Fruit will be on hand to lend some of his covering fire. And uh, a new reveal, uh, this Friday, uh, Crucible designer Lars Bakken and myself will be journeying to Los Angeles to host a tournament in the Rift Crucible mode that we debuted at E3. So follow us on Twitter, at Bungie, we'll give you the details. Uh, our hosts are going to be Red Bull in their own gaming studio. I'm calling out some of the more competitive members of the Destiny community who are going to be combatants in this affair. So Holtzman, N. Kutch, K.J. Hovey, M. Tashed, Datto, Flame Sword, Triple Wreck, and Fizzer. You've been officially called out. We'll see you in Los Angeles. May the best guardian win. I'm Deej from Bungie. We'll see you again real soon, and we thank you so much for joining us today. That's it. We're out. That's it. We're out. That was terrible. <laughs> anyway, that's my overview of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Please uh, leave a like. It's like, it gives, it's like giving us a tip. You know, it just helps us out a little bit. And uh, please subscribe, and... Uh, if you dislike it, hit the dislike button. See you later, <laughs> and goodbye.